What leadership qualities do you think are needed to lead a country that is so huge, so complex and so chaotic? Well, I won't say chaotic. Every, uh, you know, the type of uh, order comes out of disorder, okay? <laughs> This is what's happening now. Uh, I was elected as a president of India 2002-2007 yeah, through a well-structured election process. Uh, Now, the leader, not only for, to become the president, you need to give any political leadership or technological leadership. Uh, you have to have six traits uh, one leader should have. And uh, what are the six traits? Number one, leader must have a vision. Without a vision, he will not be a leader, he or she. So, leader must have a vision. The second one, leader must be able to travel it in, into an unexplored path. Normally, tendency to travel the, you know, well, well laid out path. But the leader, he takes the path of untraveled path. Third thing, leader must know how to manage success, most importantly, the failure. Uh, any mission he does or she does, So he has to go through some failure. He sh he, they should know how to manage the failures. Could you give us an example from your own experience about managing failure? Well, in my own experience like this, 1973, I, was, uh, I was became the project director for satellite launch vehicle program. SLV-3 is called to put a Rohini satellite in the orbit by 1980. When the management structure I was given, money I was given, yeah, and uh, then uh, human power I was given, only they said by 1980, you must put the satellite in the orbit, making a rocket. So thousands of people worked for that, say, a scientific technical team. So when the time came, 1979, I think it's in August, we launched, uh, I was in the mission director, project director, I was the control center, I was the mission director. We handed over to the computer to do the process of checking the launch vehicle T minus four minutes and launch it. After one minute uh, in the computer, checkered computer put a hold. Uh, the, for some reasons, they said uh, a display was there, it said some, some comp component is not doing well, control component. My experts told me I have us always Behind me, four or five experts will be there. And they quickly calculated the computer. They told me, don't worry. There is a, a lot of reserve fuel is there. We, we will succeed. So I went, I bypassed the computer. I went on manual, launched the rocket system. Okay. And uh, it uh, is a four-stage rocket system. First stage worked beautifully. As soon as the second stage separated, it got into trouble. Instead of satellite going the orbit, the whole rocket system went into Bay of Bengal. Okay, so it was a big uh, failure. So that day, uh, Indian Space Research Organ Chief Prasatish Davan, there's a press conference. Seven o'clock we launched. 7.45, there's a press conference. The whole world press is there in Sereri, Kota, at launch base. So I still remember the chairman of the organization, the leader of the organization, taking the press conference. I was by his side. He said, uh, we have failed first time. We tried to attempt it. And uh, this failure really makes us to believe We have to give more technological support my team. And they worked very hard. Definitely in a year they will succeed. So I was a mission director. I was a project director. I am responsible for the failure. And uh, he took the responsibility of failure as a chairman of the organization, as the leader of the organization. Next year, 1980, July, we succeeded. The whole nation was jubilant. There was a press conference. Prasatish Dhawan told me, you go and take the press conference. Okay. 
the message is when the failure occurred the leader of the organization owned the leader a failure when the success came he gave to his team that the best management principle i have not learned previously any books or not taught me i learned from that experience okay that's a beautiful story thank you very much for sharing right. that next one uh, fourth point leader must have a courage to take decision that's our problem today throughout the world leader must have a courage to take decision fifth one leader should have a nobility in management i mean nobility and management a big question mark so i believe leader should have a nobility in management every action of the leader should be transparent you know what i mean you say every that is leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity 